Welcome to Class 5 NCRT Mapping Your Way Chapter 8 Part 4. In this chapter, we'll be looking at the topics Trip to Redfoot and Make it Bigger, Make it Smaller. Trip to Redfoot, page number 117. When we reached Redfoot, there was a long queue for tickets. The main entrance is called Lahori Gate. After entering it, we turned left into a long corridor with little shops on both sides. This is called Meena Bazaar. I brought some lovely bangles from there for my sister. So children, what is this? This is a red fort. Okay, you are, we have seen it in the map. Yes, this is a red fold and there was a long queue it seems to take the tickets as you enter a movie theater or zoo park you take tickets now like that for this also tickets is there you have to stand in queue for tickets and after uh, the entrance is called as Lahori gate what is the entrance called Lahori gate and after entering if you turn to your left side then a long corridor long corridor means here you can see this is a corridor long corridor with little shops on both sides you can see here little small small shops on both sides and this is called as Meena Bazaar I brought some lovely bangles for my sister from there they buy lovely bangles it seems. Nakhar Khana where drums were beaten to shout out the king's message. What is this called? This building is called as Nakhar Khana where big drums were there it seems it were beaten to shout out the king's message. If that time if king want to send some message to the public that message is sent by the soldiers they beat the big drums which are there so when drum beats start everyone will know that some message is going to come because like uh, like we have phones and all facilities now did it at that time? No. So you go straight through Nakhar Khana and reach Diwani Arm. And if you go from straight from this Nakhar Khana where you will reach Diwani Arm. This is the place where king used to meet the common people. Diwani Arm is the place where king used to meet all the common people that is the public. Walking straight from Diwane Arm, we saw Rang Mahal. It is beautiful building. There were three more buildings on the left side. And after passing through the Diwane Arm, if we go straight from Diwane Arm, they saw Rang Mahal. What is that? Rang Mahal. And it was very beautiful building. It's in. And there were more three buildings on the left side on to the left side there were three more buildings which can be seen in the map we walked left from Rang Mahal Diwani Khas was the place where king used to meet his ministers and other important Khas people Khas in Hindi means important so first we saw the building Diwani Arm where king used to meet the common people now Diwani Khas is the place where the king meet all the important people his ministers or the important people who are coming from outside and all and from right Rang Mahal Aram and Diwane Khas. From the right what all we can see? Rang Mahal, Aramga and Diwane Khas. And inside Rang Mahal it is so beautiful like this. And this is inside the Diwane Khas. Now this is the map 4 of Red Fort. Okay children now let's see few questions on this. Which of these is nearer to river Yamuna? Diwane Arm or Diwane Khas? Now where is river Yamuna? This is river Yamuna. And where is Diwane Arm? This is river Diwane Arm and Diwane Khas. So which is nearer? You can easily say which is nearer? Diwane Khas is nearer. So what you will write here? Diwane Khas is nearer to river Yamuna than Diwane Arm. Now let's see the next question. Between which two buildings is Aramga? So now where is Aramga? This is Aramga. What are the two buildings you can see between which two buildings? This building that is Rang Mahal and this building that is Diwane Khas. So between which two buildings it is Diwane Khas and Rang Mahal. 
Aramga is between Diwane Khas and Rang Mahal. The next question. Which buildings do you pass while going from Rang Mahal to Hammam? So now the question is which buildings do we pass while going to Rang Mahal sorry while going from Rang Mahal to Hammam. Now where is Rang Mahal? This is Rang Mahal and where is Hammam? Here is Hammam. So what are the buildings we are passing? The first is Ara Aramgha and the second one is Diwane Khas. So we will write we will pass through Aramgha and Diwane Khas while going from Rang Mahal to Hammam. Now let's see the next question. Which buildings on this map is farthest from Meena Bazaar? Now where is the Meena Bazaar? Here is the Meena Bazaar. Now they are asking which building is farthest from Meena Bazaar. So which is the last building ma? It is Hammam. So what you will write here the answer? Hammam is farthest from Meena Bazaar. Farthest means which is more far. Our next question about how far is Lahori gate from Diwanhe Kaas? Now they are asking how far is Lahori gate? Where is Lahori gate? Here is the Lahori gate. Where is Diwan Kaas? Here is the Diwan Kaas. You put a scale and measure it like we measured before. So similarly with the scale you measure it and you will get it nearly 6 centimeters. A map on the distance of the sorry the map distance of Lahori gate from Diwane Khas is about 6 centimeters and we know that what is the scale given here 1 centimeter is 100 meters. 1 centimeter is 100 meters. So the ground distance of Lahori gate from Diwane Khas is equal to 1 centimeter is 100 meters. Um, what is the distance we got? 6 centimeters. So 6 into 100, 600 meters. Okay children. Now page number 119. Here are some pictures drawn on a 1 centimeter square grid. Try making the same pictures on a 2 centimeter grid and also on half centimeter grid. One picture is already done for you. See children, now this is a 1 centimeter grid. In this you can see few drawings, a car, a leaf and a lamp. And now this is 2 centimeter grid and this is half centimeter grid. What is the difference ma? Here the boxes you can see, if you measure it, it will be 1 centimeter. Here if you measure it, it will be 2 centimeters. Here it will be half centimeter. Understood what is 1 centimeter, 2 centimeter and half centimeter grid? Yes, very good. Now they are asking us to draw the pictures which is there in this 1 centimeter grid similarly on the other grids also. So while drawing what you have to see the same shape will be same ok. Oh, for example how you will draw I will show you one example here see one lamp is given for you here the lamp is in two grids here also the lamp is drawn exactly in the two grids here in exactly in the half centimeter grid. Similarly when you are drawing the leaf how you will draw you will draw like this you will connect from here you will go through the first box and go through the second box. Similarly from here it will touch like this, go like this and inside the second box only and then one line in between and exactly you have to keep the lines where they have kept. If it is in the first grid you will keep it in the first grid. If it is in the second grid you will keep it in the second grid. Ok children understood how to do this? This is the way you will draw. So what is the difference you are finding? the same object we are drawing in the first grid and also in the second grid where this is 2 centimeter grid and this is half centimeter grid. So the completed image will look something like this. This is on 2 centimeters grid and this is on half centimeter grid. So here children one thing what you have to notice is the image which you are drawing is same but only what is changing? area is changing. Here it is half centimeter grid and here it is 2 centimeter grids. Similarly when the map is taken 
if we are drawing a map like we have seen the maps of red foot and everything before if you are doing it in the small scale then the scale will reduce and if you are making it in a larger way the scale will increase okay children now the side of the square was made two times bigger does it area also becomes two times bigger so before it was 1 cm then we have drawn it on 2 cm so what we did the side increased to 2 cm as yes or no before if the square is 1 cm mm -hmm. this is 1 cm square on 1 cm square grid we have drawn then what happened we made that square box to 2 cm grid yes or no 2 cm each side will be now 2 cm now they are asking will the area also become more or will it be same the area of the square what is the formula of area of the square side into side that is side square now when the sides are double now what we did we have doubled the sides then the side will become 2 times side as yes, I know 2 into side then the area will become 2 into side into 2 into side that is 2 into 2 4 side into side side square so what it is clear that the area becomes 4 times so now before it was side square now it became 4 times the side square for example suppose the original length is 1 centimeter if this is the original length then the area of that square will become side into side that is 1 into 1 that is 1 square centimeter now when the side is made 2 times bigger now we have made it 2 times bigger then the new length of the side of the square will be new length will be 2 before it was 1 now we have doubled it so the length is 2 now, now the area is 2 into 2 side into side that is 2 into 2 that is 4 square centimeters so before it was 1 square centimeter when we double the side when we double the length of the side then the area became 4 square centimeter is yes or no so when the side of the square is made 2 times bigger that is side jab humne badaya pehle 1 centimeter tha abhi 2 centimeter so what we did 2 times bigger then the area becomes 4 times bigger than the original area is yes or no before the area was 1 now the area became 4 4 times bigger why the side was 1 now the side is 2 when we have doubled the side then the area became four times bigger than the original area ok children understood now try this page number 120 this is a part of a parade of root map 3 from root map 3 this part of the parade is given which is on the right side of this can you see which part of the root map it is so here they are asked here they have asked you now this is one centimeter grid which is taken separately can you find out where it is can you find out where it is so here it is yes or no where it is here it is because how we can find out this national stadium dot is sorry this um, india gate dot is here see the india gate dot which is there it is here so by that we were able to found that this is the part taken from the map 3 and now what all part it is what all way it is going see this is Rajpath this is Rafimar this is Janpath this road is Mansing road and this is India gate okay, children now try to make it bigger in 2 cm grid remember that the shape of the map should not change like we did for the leaf and car now they are asking us to make this map on 2 cm grid now this is 1 cm grid the same thing we have to do it in 2 cm grid understood children so 2 cm grid means what you will do this lines which are there each box will be 2 cm and then you have to draw the same lines exact joining should be on that line only understood children how you will be doing it now if the parade route map is smaller and the distance between India gate and Vijay Chok becomes 2 cm what would be its scale now they are asking if the parade route map is smaller means smaller means chota kar rahe hai, and distance between India gate of Vijay Chok 
दो सेंटीमीटर है तो स्केल क्या होगा सो बिफोर वी हैव मेजर्ड इट डू यू रिमेंबर इन प्रीवियस पार्ट ओरिजिनली द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन विजय चौक एंड इंडिया गेट वॉज फोर सेंटीमीटर्स वेन वी कैप द स्केल एंड वी सॉ इट वॉज फोर सेंटीमीटर्स बट एंड दैट टाइम द स्केल वॉज गिवन एज टू सेंटीमीटर इक्वल टू वन किलोमीटर बट नाउ वॉट इज हैपनिंग हियर हियर वॉट इज हैपनिंग दिस फोर सेंटीमीटर्स विच इज देयर दैट इज बिकमिंग टू सेंटीमीटर्स मीन्स इट इज गेटिंग रेड्यूज्ड by half then what happens the scale also should be reduced thus if the distance between two places becomes 2 cm then the scale would become 1 cm on the map equal to 1 km children what is actually map is map is representation of that object on a paper yes or no so for example your school area is there your school area is big when you are representing your school area on a map will you take the same big paper and draw it no you will take a smaller paper and in that you will put the scale yes or no so representing that on the paper is known as map and scaling is because when you are taking lesser area if you are ma marking only regarding your assembly area then the scale also becomes less but when you are marking a bigger area if you keep the scale more what happens we need more paper so that time we reduce the scale so whenever needed we will be changing that thank you we'll be continuing in the next part